This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com. Oh, what's up, people? Dobbs Wolves is right here, and welcome to Yes, It Is Time. Two months in a row, people. This is going to be one hell of a two month period right now. February and March. We'll be doing a whole two month of pack openings. No music videos, no gameplays, possibly not, maybe if you're lucky, and definitely no top 10s or top 5s or game jams. Literally, it's just going to be pure pack -ins. Why? It's because I am going to Tokyo in March, people, and I haven't got the time to do all these videos. I'm too busy. So, pack -ins, it's going to be, and of course for the people who watch my videos because they like to play games for me when they play Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. We're doing a, quite a lot of it today and it's going to be a lot of my absolute favourite sets throughout the years. So, today's episode will be opening up six booster packs of Tactical Masters. Not an absolutely amazing set, but it does have some great collector rares in there. And an amazing structure deck that is going to go up in value down the line because of one card and one card only in this set, Ash Blossom. It's a common in this structure deck and it's super valuable. So, before we go ahead and open up um, the booster packs, let's go ahead and open up the structure deck for today. Now, I have not looked at the structure deck properly, but I would really love to build a... Um, a Crystal Beast deck, really. I love to try and re bring back the uh, Yu Gi Oh GX era, which is going to be something I'm absolutely, absolutely love, looking forward to. This is the playmat, which I wish they did do a proper playmat for that. The cards that will actually be used for this structure deck, if you guys want to build this deck at its potential, you have uh, these three cards here from Power of the Elements. Three cards that I've already got from Dementia Force. These three cards are very, very good and broken. Three cards here from Battle of Chaos, but available soon, which I will be opening up after March, is Battle of Legends, the Crystal Revenge, which is going to be an amazing set, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys, well, I know you guys have already have this already released as this video has been uploaded, but I know that there's Access Code Talker in that set. There is new tune cards, well, no. We bring it back the tune cards to be honest, people. Some of the most expensive cards for tunes, like the Black Lizard Soldier tune card, tune table flip, and of course the um, oh, what was the other one? Um, uh, page uh, tune page finder. I don't remember what it is, but it's three tune cards, but a lot, a lot of Cyber Dragon cards. Not Cyber Dragon, Crystal Beasts. Anyhow, so this is what you get in the structure deck. So you get yourself an ultra rare rainbow dragon, which is nice. That's what it originally was back in the day. We got ourselves the ultimate crystal rainbow dragon overdrive, which is nice. We have the one from Ghost in the Past number two, crystal beast rainbow dragon. We have the rainbow bridge of the heart. Nice spell card for the crystal beast. Crystal bond, which is actually a very expensive card because this only got printed once, not uh, quite a while back. And then I only pulled one, and it was still expensive. I think that's just like a thirty-pound card. Don't know. I don't think it is that nowadays. We got Rainbow Over Dragon, great super, and we have some lovely tokens right here. We have Jesse Anderson, and then we have Jesse and Ruby, cute card. And then we have our commons. I'm going to put the um, tokens to the side because they're the one I love keeping tokens. So these are the, the um, non hollows in the set. So you got yourself your ruby, your amethyst, your emerald, topaz, amber, the um, colbait, sapphire. Pretty much the main cards you want for your crystal beasts. So that is really, really good. You have rainbow dark dragon, crystal master and the crystal keeper. For some reason, Hamon Lord of Striking Thunder is in this deck, which is insane because it actually is um, a card you have to special summon from your hand by sending three continuous spell cards, which of course, Crystal Beasts are mainly are. You have a common Dimension Shifter, which is such a very good card. Contact C, another great card. And there it is, Ash Blossom of the Julius Spring. An amazing common, great for common arts, and of course, Ghost Bell of the Haunted Mansion. And then you have some great spell cards for the new Crystal Beast. Ancient City, which is great. Rainbow Bridge as well. 
Crystal Beacon, Crystal Blessing. They've got the Promise, the Tree, the Release, the Value, Reflection, the Advanced Dark, finally getting a common. Um, Awakening Dragon, Foolish Burial Gouge, which is good. Cosmic Cyclone as well. Some new trap cards for the Crystal Beasts. But one thing that's not in this structure deck either, just to let people know, there is one trap card in this deck that should have been in this deck, and that is the Crystal Regeki. And yeah, Crystal Regeki, that is an expensively good card, and it only got printed not a long, not for, not a lot. And thankfully, I do have some of them back in the day. But yeah, that was the structure deck, which actually is an amazing structure deck. And if you guys want to make profit, you should get them now before they go out of print for first editions. Because they will go up, and that Ash Blossom is going to go up. I can tell you now. So, six packs of Tactical Masters. Let's see what we can pull to start this month off. Now, like I said, people, six months in a row, people, we've had absolute gold pulling stuff. Can our luck keep on going? Let's hope so. So we got ourselves Reckless Greed. We got ourselves Lilith. We got some Runix. We got a CED. We got a Labyrinth uh, Ku Klok. Scapegoat, nice. Nice! We got ourselves an Ultra Rare. That's a good start. You don't guarantee it's Ultra Rare. We got the Mamoka, the Aliazan Unite. That's for the um, new uh, warrior monsters in this deck. This is really, really a good card. And that's quite a big speed stick as well. A fusion card. And it's a pendulum. Very good indeed. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up in a minute. And I'm going to be trying to be very, very specific on my sleeving today, people. Because my, um, my order of sleeves didn't turn up in time. So I have to be very, very careful on what I'm sleeving up. We got Runic Destruction, Super Rare. I won't sleeve that one up, but the Ultra Rare I will do because, like I said, you don't guarantee the Ultra Rare. Next pack. So, our six packs, and I pulled an Ultra Rare. That is actually really, really good, people. Can I pull myself a Collector's Rare? I doubt it because they're extremely hard to come by, which I do not mind. Anti Spell Fragrance, very good. And we got ourselves Labyrinth Barrage. Okay. Cool, cool. This, the normal standard rares, I'll sleeve them up off camera down the line when I'm not too busy. Because this, today people, this is Tuesday right now being recorded in um, November. And I've got a lot, a lot of pack openings to do people. I've literally got 29 pack openings to do. Another barrage? Oh, we don't want a double right there. That's not good. So yeah, I got 29 pack openings to do one after the other, so I got a lot a lot of cards to open up and a lot a lot of time to waste. So yeah, there's a lot we're gonna be doing today. Bearlock. We got Runic Flashing Fire, some nice new runic cards. The runics are really, really good to be honest, people. A lot a lot of times to you um, mail out people's decks and mail out your own, but if you do it to yourself, you actually bring them back quite quickly. Which that's what the um Recipe is for the runics. They're just super super deadly. Scapegoat, Pendulum, Anti-Spell, and a World Koenig Weissen. Okay, so that's for the warrior cards right there. So that's not too bad. Not bad for the very first episode, people. Like I said, you weren't expecting so much of it of um, cards to pull, but like I said, I'm gonna start off very very mellow and slow to start the videos off but later on it's gonna get hectic and i'm meaning by hectic i mean about in two videos time people because we'll be opening up some big baller cards and i mean big baller cards so let's see what we pulled today like i said we pulled some amazing comments right here like the cherry blossom as you guys know we have ourselves our great structure deck cards right here which are really nice I think the most expensive one out of the um, Ultra Rares here is definitely the Crystal Bond, which is very, very nice indeed. We have our Supers, as you guys already know. And then we have only pulled one Ultra Rare from that pack, which is, like I said, out of six packs. That is really, really good indeed. So, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, as always. And with that being said, the people of Slug will see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheerio! That was not too bad, but like I said, that set is very hard to pull, so...
Thumbs up for me. I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a few other values, are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. 